So, they have beaten you, huh? They could... Your quest is over. They could... Yeah, that's right. What if it's only beginning? That's right, Schaefer. The quest to brutal mode survival starts here. It may be filled with BS checkpoints, cheap deaths, and guards that laugh at you every single time you die. But with these six tips, you can be the one who truly has the last laugh when the credits roll and you hear that sweet sound of victory. Uncharted 2 is my favourite game ever, so going into this I was a teeny bit worried that I would hate the game just because I'd get so frustrated, but thankfully I didn't find it nearly as frustrating as Drake's Fortune was. There's only one bit that was worse than the whole of Drake's Fortune, and that was the tunnel vision chapter, you know you're on the train, you come out and it's snowing, that bit sucked. Like, oh my god, I was stuck on that for ages. But other than that, I felt like I plodded along at a good pace. I didn't get too stuck on anything. Well, not to that extent anyway. If you're looking for boss fight help, I've also made a video of that a while back. So Draza and Lazarevich are in that video if you want to go. I'll put a link in the description below. So with all that out of the way, let us go on to tip number one. Tip number one. Stealth first, shoot bullets later. In Uncharted 2, stealth is definitely a viable option and that can be really helpful because then you don't have to shoot anybody and it's a bit more risk-free. And there's a lot of parts of the games where you can take out lots of enemies or even all of the enemies in a certain section just by using stealth. So if you can find that as an option when you go into an area and an enemy hasn't noticed you yet, always try and stealth when you can. I already made a previous video that goes through some of the areas of Uncharted 2 that you can get a good amount of stealth in, so if you'd like to follow that guide I'll leave that video in the description of this video. However be aware that on brutal mode enemies that you stealth kill do not drop those extra kind of reward weapons you get, you know the ones that they drop with the little ninja icon next to them, you can see on screen I'm putting two of my playthroughs next to each other. So when you're watching that guide just be aware that the weapons will be dropping in that video but they won't be on brutal mode. Tip number two, choosing the right cover for the right situation. In Uncharted Drake's Fortune, you could pick up enemies a lot easier by using that method where you stood behind cover rather than in cover to get like a good angle on them where they couldn't actually hit you. Now that's still possible to do in Uncharted 2, but it's not 100% as infallible as it was in Drake's Fortune. So you've kind of got to go into a situation and sort of assess whether this would be a good time to use it or not. Because I did find when I was doing it, I was still getting shot a lot. So you have to kind of use that and also use cover now as well. However, I did find that you could look for little like cracks in the environment or behind cover, like for instance, through a window or between two little bits of cover that were touching that you can shoot through if you have like a good gun, like a FAL or your pistol. And the enemies never really tried to shoot me back for it. My experience, whenever I was shooting through this window on the village, the enemies just never hit me. They never even tried to shoot that way. So that, if you can find that in the environment, then go for it. That's a really good way to get some shots and they can't hit you back. When you have to use normal cover, try and before you even take a shot, position your camera so that the enemy you want to shoot is already in the middle of your screen. That way you don't have to waste time trying to position your reticle to get to him because it should already be in his general area. When shooting from out of cover, try and resist Resist the urge to get greedy and pop up a few too many shots than you should because you probably will get killed especially when there's loads of people around so just pop out take a few shots and then get back into cover and just chip them away slowly there's no need to rush just chip away when faced with a large group of enemies your priority should be to take out the little guys first because in brutal mode they're actually the ones that pose the biggest threat compared to a shotgun guy who needs to get a bit closer or even a sniper rifle guy who takes about 10 seconds to even line the shot up at you these little guys with their AKs and their pistols, they can one or two shot you from a great distance. Another thing that I found helpful was hanging off the edge of cover and I was able to get through a couple of sections by doing that. So make sure you have a good pistol for starters with enough ammo if you're going to do it. And you somehow felt a little bit safer, especially as well if you're hanging off somewhere and they can't really throw grenades at you so you don't have to worry about grenades. But to be quite honest, you don't have to worry about grenades at all. Just don't fear grenades. Like as long as you're not sitting on the grenade or it's not in front of your face, if you just move a little bit away, you'll be fine. So don't feel like you need to, when someone throws a grenade at you, you need to like run a million miles away because seriously. They, they really don't damage you. Tip number three, blind firing. 
Blind firing is a really useful tactic to use on brutal mode and can be used in a variety of situations. For example, you get some enemies in the game that kind of slowly walk towards you. I wouldn't say they rush you per se, but they do sort of come towards you. Like some of the armoured guys with shotguns, for instance. So you can just stand behind cover and blind fire towards their head and then you'll pop the helmet off and then you can kill them. If you have a good pistol, then you can also do a lot of damage with blind fire at a far distance because that gun has a really good range. So if you're in a room with loads of enemies and they're all just sort of in cover, but you don't really want to risk popping your head out to shoot anybody, you can just sort of line up your shot get a few blind fires in and it will actually kill people from quite a far distance if you see someone about to throw a grenade or something try and blind fire in their direction because you may get lucky and hit them and then they'll drop the grenade and then they'll obviously kill themselves and if there's any soldiers around them they'll kill all of them so that's like a freebie grenade kill so always try and look out for someone doing that this may seem like a crazy tactic, but running and gunning can really help if you need to get out of cover and go out into the open and get something or move somewhere. Because if you shoot towards them, they can't really shoot you back if they're sort of reacting to being shot at. An example of when I found this strategy really useful was on that checkpoint on top of the train where you have that guy that can just shoot you from a ridiculous range and kill you in one shot was when I ran towards him blind firing, even though he was far away, it was enough to let me jump to the next train without getting shot. Now it wasn't like 100% of the time, he would still get me now and again, but it was the most successful tactic I had, otherwise you'd just die over and over again. And I'd say like seven times out of 10, I was able to make it by doing that. Tip number four, switching weapons for extra ammo. In brutal mode, ammo is scarce. So when you pick up ammo for a gun, you only get like two or three bullets, but it's not so much of an issue as it was in Drake's Fortune, mainly because there's such an abundance of weapons to choose from that you could just jump from weapon to weapons. However, if you do want to like stock up on a certain gun's ammo for like a section coming up that you know you want like a lot of M4 ammo, then the ammo trick still does work. So in this example, I want to get more ammo for my foul. So if I pick up this ammo right now, I'll just get three bullets or something from it. So instead, I'm going to pick up a totally different type of weapon. So I'm going to pick up the shotgun here. Now I'm going to pick up this foul ammo because it acts as a brand new gun. Then when you pick up your old ammo for the gun, it now doubles up and now I have a hundred and something. Then once again, you can milk this even more. So you can pick up the shotgun once again to get this foul ammo because I haven't touched this one yet. So if I go back to the shotgun, now always remember where you put your old ammo because that can be annoying trying to find it again. So I pick up the shotgun, I go and pick up this brand new foul, then pick up my old foul, and now I have full foul ammo. So for quieter moments in the game, you can just do this for every gun you have, and therefore you can stock up on all the ammo for the guns you want to prepare yourself for the next part of the game. Tip number five, patience, planning, and persevering. As you probably all know by now, brutal mode really can suck at times and it can be very frustrating. However, patience, planning and persevering are my three P's to brutal mode success. You need to be patient with both yourself and the game. So take your time in the big fights. I never really felt like there were many sections of the game where you had to really rush through and kill people. So you could just hang back and just pick people off one at a time. You'll notice that if you're in a kind of stalemate with some enemies, like they're in cover and you're in cover and no one's moving, after they finish shooting for about 30 seconds or so, they'll eventually stop shooting and kind of peer around cover to see where you've gone to. And this is like the golden opportunity to shoot them back. So always look out for when that's possible. Planning ahead for the next section of the game is going to be really important as you want to know what's coming up and then decide which weapons you think will be best for the job. You don't want to screw yourself over because checkpoints are really quite frequent, which is both a blessing and a curse. And you could be stuck with a weapon with only a handful of bullets that isn't the best for the job if you go into a checkpoint unprepared. And of course, as always, persevering is an important factor in trying to beat any game which is really frustrating or hard. You're definitely going to have to keep on pushing if you're stuck on a certain section of the game and some of the checkpoints in this game can be really annoying because they just dump you in the middle of the whole area and just expect you to get out and go back into cover when everyone's just shooting at you. So there are some really sucky checkpoints. You just have to roll really quickly to get out of that. And finally, tip number six, experiment. If you're like me and have played Uncharted 2 many, many times, you may not realize it, but you might have a certain strategy that you always do every time you reach a certain section of the game. And that's always worked for you in the past, but on brutal mode, that tried and tested method may not work. 
So shake things up and try a new approach to a situation and you may just surprise yourself. Sometimes I did the craziest things and it actually worked and I was like, wow. One of the things you can try and do is spend a couple of attempts just hanging back and observing the enemies because you will tend to notice that when you die, the enemies will repeat the same patterns over and over again and it's that information that you can use to your advantage and now experiment with to see what different ways you can tackle them. For example, I was really stuck on the collapsing building section. I just kept dying and I didn't know why. I was dying before the death music even finished from my death before. And it was just getting really frustrating. So I decided, instead of standing where I always stand, what if I stand at the left where this enemy spawns? So I did that and I still died. Then I noticed there was an enemy at the far bottom right corner. So I witnessed it by him killed him chloe was taking care of those other two guys the hotel collapsed the thing and i was done i was like yes so trying something new really paid off and after all they do say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results so those are my six tips and tricks for beating brutal mode on uncharted 2 among thieves good luck with your playthrough and i shall see you next time when we conquer brutal mode on uncharted 3 drake's deception